Hi everyone, welcome back to Day Wind Sims 4 again doing another video of me doing different aesthetics on Sims 4. So I've already done, I don't know how many parts of this series, but basically I go in and create looks that are like basic aesthetics on Sims 4. Um, I've done like a few of these now, but f my first look was I decided to do prep, like preppy. Um, I don't know if I've done some before, but if I have, I'm sorry, but um, I've literally like I'm scraping for like six now but I did preppy and so when I was doing it I did see like they they said to use like a lot of bright colors but I actually decided to make this a little more dark of a preppy look um I feel like everyone knows kind of what preppy is like the sweater the like skirt like the kind of skirt um was like a sweater or you know vest or something um and so that's what I was kind of going for um so basically you've just got to make sure that you've kind of got that kind of silhouette. Um, the, yeah, it, and I also kind of want to incorporate some stripes because I know like some patterns are also very popular in this style. So I made sure to have like the stripe on the sweater. Um, and yeah, I did also give them her some accessories as well. I don't know if that's fully preppy. I think it might be. So I gave her this like beret hat. I thought that kind of went with the look as well. Um, and then I didn't really focus too much on the makeup again for these aesthetics. Um, I used to was going to makeup, but like I don't really know. I just kind of was like it's like a whole extra thing, and like a lot of the time the Sims makeup looks the same anyway. So. I just kind of was like, yeah, let's focus on the actual outfits, but that's preppy done. So next up, I decided to do princess. So princess, um, again, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you got to dress like a princess. <laughs> um, so I was kind of going in between two dresses. I ended up going for this one because I thought it was a little more like Disney princess um, or like if anyone saw like the early 2000s Barbie movies, that's what I was kind of going off of. Um, but like basically, this one you gotta dress like a princess, obviously. Um, but apparently, also it's very much on the behavior as well. But this is, but I'm just doing the look of a princess, so doing like the big dress. Um, I didn't see any specific colour scheme, so I kind of was like, let's do the pretty pink princess. But I did, I did see actually some blue as well, but I decided to go pink for this one. Um, and so, yeah, sadly we don't have any crowns, so I was going to add a crown, but I can't, I can't do that. So I just tried to make her look as princessy as possible through her dress, I guess, and her other accessories. Um, I kind of I wish we had crowns. Maybe we do, and I just kind of I couldn't find them. But yeah, but overall, and then I just kind of gave her some like very light pink makeup to go with the dress. Um, I thought it was very princessy as well. Um, I did try and look for a crown, but wasn't meant to be. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, and then just some um, long hair. I think I go for because. Um, Princessy is very long, I guess, long flowy hair. Um, but that's basically princess done. Um, so next up, I did. What did I do next? <laughs> I think I did. Um, was it rainbow? Was it rainbow next? Um, yeah, I did a rainbow core. Um, so rainbow core. Again, I think it's a little spot for explanatory. Um, you got to dress with a rainbow, like a with yeah, with a rainbow. I guess um, it's very it's very just focused on that. Um, it kind of like it's kind of like in this kind of like subdivision. Like you got hollow sexuals, you got kid core, all of those kind of all together, um, and it's. You know, you gotta have a rainbow in there somewhere. So I end up going for. I was gonna use the top from the kits that we got from. What kit was it now? Um, the festival kit. I can't remember the name. But I end up going for a jacket look instead because I just kind of found like it. And um, I and I also saw like it would be like rainbows, and then paired was like white 
like there'd be like one rainbow kind of item and the rest of the outfit would be white so that's kind of what I end up going for and then I gave her some like dyed hair as well um but yeah so that's why I end up going for like the jacket was like the white sweater and the white skin the white boots and the rainbow tights um so that you kind of got it didn't well it wasn't too I mean the look is meant to be over the top but I wanted to keep it still yeah, that you could wear this out and not you would look like a crazy person but like not as much as a crazy person <laughs> um i'm sure the people that do this shit don't really care anyway but um but pre-warning i have already said this um if these looks aren't accurate i'm sorry um i think i this every video but it is very hard to create some of these looks in the sim so i do have to kind of sacrifice some things when doing these so um this wasn't going to be fully like the rainbow one wasn't going to be fully like rainbow as much as like some of the looks you see are but this is like the rainbow aesthetic I guess it's in the sims um but so the next one I did was I think I did love core next year so love core is very based off of romance so you got the pinks, the reds and the hearts, so a lot of the looks had hearts on them so I made sure to put like hearts on these outfits so I ended up going for, um, I, think, I can't remember what pack it's from, I think it's a university sweater that was pink and had like a white love heart on it. Um, and then I went for a red skirt to bring in that red. I didn't have any hearts in it because I don't think there's any skirts that have like love hearts on them or I couldn't find any at least. Um, and then I go for some love heart tights as well because just to bring in more of that heart theme I guess. Um, and then I think I just gave her some pink boots. I was gonna go for red but I didn't really like how the red looked with the tights so I end up going for the pink boots and then that's basically the look part done um yeah so it is very just like what it like it's called love course so you would expect it to be like valentine's day ish I guess um so I mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't really know what else to say it's just very like love hearts pink um i think i don't yeah I'm not, i didn't really go into like why of this video i kind of just did what they wear so i can't really go into like i don't really know i just, I'm, I'm not even thinking straight today but um <laughs> But that yeah I end up giving her some like love heart jewelry as well um because I mean love core so <laughs> but I get to give her some big love heart earrings and a love heart necklace which is in the color scheme of the look but that is love core done so my final look um but last but not least was the girl next door so I didn't even know this was the aesthetic, I just thought it was just like a saying, but it is. <laughs> um, it's very much um, what it was described as was to describe the female archetype and archetype, is that how you say it? I don't even know. I'm just going with that. And fashion shit that can range in terms of, of like an all American woman. This is what it was described as, um, but, but yeah, so that was like what you kind of have to go for. So I ended up going for like the sweat, like the sweater. I saw a lot of like cardigans and it was like shorts and like a crop top. I couldn't find a cardigan was a crop top. So I just had to sacrifice that part. And then like, you know, you know what I mean? But like, so that was kind of the girl next door it was like the casual, like all American look. So that's what I ended up kind of going for. Um, but that's the last one. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite aesthetic was. And if I should do this again. And which ones I should do. Uh, if I if you want to see one I actually haven't done yet. And I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye.